Hey guys, welcome back to Games Mods. So here we have the first entry to the Siren, uh, I guess company, <laughs> the Siren Blaster line. Uh, first off, we have the Gnarl. Um, now this came in first because this is the only one that shipped out of the three that I ordered. The others are delayed, as they say. Um, I put up a post, I believe, of their email to me, um, and I think a couple other people got the same emails, you know, saying, you know, they'll charge you when uh, they ship out, which again, I don't like. Some people like that. They're like, well, I can send money aside for it. And when it comes in, blah, blah, blah. I go, some of us are not like that. <laughs> I like them to take my money right then and there. That way I know it's paid for. And then you send me the stuff when it comes in. Um, but I digress. Now, there's a lot of claims on this box already. Uh, mini pump, multi-shot, mag fed blaster. Um... Okay, it's not a pump. <laughs> it's a direct prime, it looks like. Um, Multi-shot, I guess they mean by five, because this is a five-round magazine in there. Um, and it is mag-fed, so it is, you know, that's that part's true. Fires over 150 feet. Now, that could be true with their darts. We don't know. We don't know what they're made out of yet. Um, but it does say that it's compatible with all half darts, which is a positive. And most have dart magazines. So you know what we have to do. We have to test all the worker mags and all that stuff with this blaster. Um, nothing comes close. That is a very bold claim. Um, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> um, I already have doubts in my mind about this company, just the way that they're functioning out of the gate. But regardless, I'll give the blaster a fair review, review uh, anyways. Um, in the box it says it includes one gnarled blaster, five darts, really only five darts, uh, <laughs> one five half dart magazine, okay so one mag, safety glasses which is nice, uh, re reusable storage case and instructions. So eh, I understand the one mag, five darts only, I, you could, you guys could have shoved out another five maybe to reload it twice but okay. <laughs> Um, so yeah, basically everything that we saw here, primer, we're not painting the thing, I don't know why they called it a primer, <laughs> um, but yeah, and then you can see the uh, Mahler and the Blink down here, which have yet to be released, um, so yeah, let's get this guy out of the box here, actually it's not even a box, it's, it's packaging, it's very different, uh, <laughs> but yeah, let's get out and uh, see what it does. Okay, so this is probably, what, why is this, does this look wet to you? Why is this wet inside? That's weird. Uh, if you guys don't, if you guys have one already, I don't know why, but uh, that is extremely hard to open for a child. Um, I don't know why they made it like this. You need to put at least your fingers in here for God's sakes. Let's see here. Oh, that was easy. That was easy. It's just these two. I need to use that flathead to pry this sucker open. I understand what they're going for, like a case, but um, if you remember the Ryan Blasters, uh, I think I still have one around. It came in a case and it was very easy to open. <laughs> um, now this method is more cost effective because it is just cardboard underneath um, instead of hard plastic, but again, it is what it is. So let's see here. There we go. All right, so inside we do have the five darts that look like, they almost look like they're polypropylene. Interesting. There's no hole in the back. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's no hole in the back like you would see in a uh, like you'd see in a worker dart. So that's odd. It does feel like a uh, 
It feels like an uh, it feels like a dragon dart. That's what it feels like. Um, rubber heads, so same same kind of head. Uh, not bambooed at all, so very lightweight. So that's probably why they're claiming that they're going to hit 150, because these are lightweight darts. The uh, dragon darts they usually hit over, you know, the regular amount that they're supposed to hit, just because they are. But these are not going to be accurate. Um, I can already guarantee you. Just because I know dragon darts are not accurate at all, especially at high speeds. But uh, we'll see. <laughs> um, some safety glasses, you know, pretty around the mill kind. Very nice. Um, you have a slip on sight, it looks like. Uh, you have your miniature mag. Wow, that's small. It does say siren on it, it has a big arrow pointing which way you load in the mag. And it's kind of designed with a notch in there, just like our regular mags. So we'll see what that does. You got your instructions, of course, which you definitely need. Um, wow, this is a this is thick. <laughs> big, big print. All right. So pretty self-explanatory. We've done blasters before, so we probably don't need these. Um, now let's get this thing out of the box here. Probably not going to keep that case just because. Now, the feel of it, it does feel very sturdy. Um, somebody said it felt like Busby uh, plastic, but it's pretty sturdy. It's not creaking or cracking or nothing. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's got a hefty weight, so it's very nice. Let's see what the prime is like. It says, push back to fire. Okay. Okay. It has a... So you can see it has, it doesn't have just a plastic, it has a metal rod in there, which is good. Because if it just had this, I'd be very worried. Um, so you pull it out, you push it back in, and it does have a nice uh, thick pop to it. Um, you have your mag release here, which is very nice, big enough. I wouldn't mind a little bit longer maybe, you know, maybe like out to here. Um, works well. It's not bad, it says siren here. You do have a safety here. Push up, can't pull the trigger. Down, you can. Uh, it says neural, says siren on both sides. So uh, paint-wise, it has a better platform than Nerf already, so that's a positive. Um, slip on the sight, just like that. And uh, yeah, let's test the magazines in this before we go fire. So again, one second. Now, before we test out the uh, magazine of this thing, I did want to weigh the darts because I want to see exactly how much they weigh and how they come close to uh, our normal darts that we use. So let's turn this guy on here. Wait for him to zero out. And then we put the dart on like so. And it says 0 0.985. So 0 0.985. So if we take a regular worker Gen 3 it is 1.015, so a little smidge over one gram. Um, so a little, a little bit lighter than one gram. Um, let's see, Dragon Dart. Okay, so it's a little bit heavier than a Dragon Dart. Dragon Darts are not uh, 0 0.965, and these were what 0. 985 989 985 yeah okay so we'll see what it does um so it's a little bit lighter than the than the one gram but uh yeah we'll see what they do so uh let's test some magazines now got my magazines uh let's see what they do uh this is from a dart zone max blaster Ooh, yeah geometry's off you can already see it I'm going to guess most of the darts and stuff is not going to work, so I'm going to put that to the left if it doesn't. It's from the MK4. Nope. Yep. I'm going to take a while and guess say no dart zone stuff for us because dart zone is pretty finicky with uh, their mag fits. Yep. 
Uh, X shot, long shot. Nope. Okay, first kind of regular one that we have. Uh, unicorn. Uh -huh, that does work. All right, unicorn works. That's a that's a right tighter. Uh, worker dragon. Yep, that works. Oh, got one more dart zone. Nope. Yeah, very different. You have your 15 round worker. Works perfect. Very nice. You have your Strife X mag. That does work. So that's good. You have your worker 10. Good. You have your game face try on. That works. Very nice. You have your Tachi. Yep, that works. You have your new, uh, these are the Dart Zone. I'm oh, sorry. I have Virtual Force Nexus Pro X uh, magazines. Actually, it looks very nice. And it works. You have your Codas. Nice. And finally, I wanted to try one that I didn't think would fit. But might as well since I can. The Harrier Black Miniatures. <laughs> does this actually does this actually work? Eh, it seems loose. I'm gonna try to prime it and shoot one, just cause. There's a dart. Oh, yeah, that that works. <laughs> um, I think that was mostly friction fit and just for show anyways, but I just wanted to show the two. So yeah, it works, <laughs> but very interesting. So we will go ahead. We will load up the five darts that I came with. Should have sent more. Um, we're going to fire those five. We're going to fire some worker, uh, gen three pluses that we have. Um, some of the dart zone max bamboos from the MK four. Um, and we'll do some lightweight, some heavyweight, some worker bamboos, uh, dragon darts, because why not? And then um, the new darts from the Dart Zone Max Striker 2.0. So uh, let's head to the door. All right, guys, we're at the door with the uh, Siren Gnarl here. Um, we're first going to shoot the darts that came with, uh, the magazine that came with. And then I have some uh, other mags, uh, telemags that are loaded up with... Um, Ten, no, nine other different types of darts. Um, so yeah, let's see what uh, the darts that came with do. Let's see if it hits that 150 mark like it claims. 161. 153. 158. 159. 158. Okay, not bad. Again. Little bit lighter than um, your normal um, worker gen three pluses. Um, so a little bit lighter than one gram, but that's a good sign. Um, even if it's a smidge lighter, it's still hitting way above the 150 mark. So that's that's positive. Um, let's switch out to the uh, worker gen three pluses. 140, 139. 137, 139, 135. So those were the worker Gen 3, so a little bit less. Okay, yeah, that has to be expected. Um, now we have some uh, heavy darts from worker. Let's see what those do. 120, 124, 124 again. 121. Oh, I was kind of holding the um, I was kind of holding the pro the prime, the pullback prime. Let me try one more. 120. Okay, so yeah, so looks like an average of 120 on the heavies, which isn't horrible. Um, let's see what we got next. 
All right, next up we have some uh, some of those four ribbed um, darts from the BK2S, I believe, as well as some ZWQ darts in there. So we'll see what these guys get. One twenty-seven. One thirty. One thirty-four. One thirty-six. One twenty-nine. So about an average of like one thirty-three. Now to the ZWQ darts. 128. 139. 144. 131. 137. So a little bit higher. That's nice. Uh, and then we're going to switch over to the um, worker bamboos and uh, some dart zone ruby darts. 146, 149, 153, 147, 149, 132. Actually, that 132 was uh, the ruby dart. So the 141s were um, all the worker bamboo. So let's do the rest of the uh, target dart zone max darts here. Ew, that came out kind of sloppy. 89, that might have been a bad dart. 141, yeah, that was a bad dart. 132, 138. So, yeah. 139, 140-ish. And then finally, we're going to switch to the, what do we have left? We have the Dart Zone MK4 Bamboo 2.0 darts. And then we have the new darts from the Striker 2.0 in there, the Nitro darts, and then some Dragon darts. So let's see what these do. 155, 160, 156, 152, 155. So very good performance by the uh, Bamboo 2.0s. See what the nitro darts do. 142, 146, 147, 148, 147. So pretty consistent there. Um, yeah. And then finally, some dragon darts. 167, 163. 166, 161, 165. So it looks like the dragon darts are hitting uh, pretty good there. Um, now, overall experience, good. Uh, I'm not gonna take my favorite or nothing because this right here, your finger's gonna get really tired of pulling this and pushing it back. Um, I wish it were a T-pull instead, but that's just my preference. But other than that, uh, for 30 bucks, it's a solid pickup. Um, if the other blasters are like this, they may have uh, they may have a company that's uh, you know going to do well in this business. You know, to go along with Busby, Adventure Force, Nerf, of course, Dart Zone. So uh, yeah, um, I'll leave a link down below. I don't know if they're still available. Or they're just the pre-orders are done or what's going on. I haven't looked at their site since I bought these. So if I can leave a link, I will. Or right, in that guys, let me know what you think about this guy. Um, for $30, I'd say it's solid. Um, solid performance. It's talent compatible. Um, shoots, uh, shoots pretty hard. But uh, yeah, I like it. Um, yeah, I don't have many complaints. Um, the only complaint mo mostly is the... Um, uh, the priming mechanism, I would say make that into a T-pole maybe in the future. Um, and the packaging, I, if you're going to sell this to kids, which I don't think you are, but if you're selling it to kids, make it easier to open. Um, but yeah, other than that, guys, I'm against mods. Let me know what you think down below. Please like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video. All right, bye.